The ignition for the engine for an engine like this is called a hot tube ignition. Um, Battery driven and spark ignitions at the time weren't very accurate. They didn't work very well. They were still in their infancy. So the best type of ignition that could be used was what was known as a hot tube ignition system. That consists of a chimney, which is located right there. Inside of that chimney, there is a round of insulation and standing up in the center of it is a tube which is blanked off on the top and is open to the inside of the head. All right. Now, this gas that I mentioned earlier going up through here mixes with air right here and you light it inside of that chimney and it causes a blue flame which causes the tube to glow red. When the tube glows red, then when the fuel and air is introduced into the cylinder and is compressed down by the piston, it takes that and pushes it up that tube inside. It compresses it up through until it reaches a point where that tube is red, which is caused by the burning inside of the chimney. When that happens, then the engine well, that will ignite the fuel in the engine, and hence that's what drives the piston back and forth. So, early ignition system.